Hey Scorpio, how's everybody doing? Before we get into it, let's set the intention for this to be a space where everyone allows themselves to feel seen and validated and ultimately for this to be a safe space and a healing space in alignment with everyone's highest good. I'm looking at Temperance, the Ten of Cups, the Three of Cups, the King of Pentacles, the Sun, I feel like you're trying trying to adjust to something and really focus on the positivities of a situation like maybe even something that you're that you're in right now and you're like really focused on maybe things that are bringing you joy or a sense of fulfillment the things that you care about the things that you love spending times in places where you feel like you're connecting with things vibing with things for some of you feeling support for some of you too um this can be like family members friend group even a work situation there's a sense of camaraderie that i'm seeing here there's also a sense of happiness with a position that you've fallen into or like some role that you've now assumed something that you're responsible for this may have been something that at one point in time it felt like heavier, stressful, or maybe a bit daunting, and now it looks like it suits you very well. This is what I'm seeing here. Um, I'm seeing some Sag energy, some Leo energy. It looks like you're trying to work things out within a close interpersonal relationship. I'm hearing shooting for the stars. Maybe something is taking some adjusting to, and that's what you're doing right now. It seems like something is worth it to you because you're with someone that's important to you. Someone you get on well with. For some of you, you're meeting this person's friends even. It's like, now it's official. It's a serious, committed relationship. Something like that. Something that may have taken some time to develop. There's a sense of... I'm seeing this sense of joy and fulfillment come from being in a place where you are connecting with someone that you feel really understands you, feeling connected with a person that really sees you. Scorpio, this is so interesting too because in the last reading, um, if I recall correctly, there had been something going on that was about a, a lack of feeling seen. And now there's very much an element of feeling seen with someone. We're going to pull more cards and see like, if this was something that already happened or if this is taking place currently. But yeah, I'm seeing it's almost like meeting, meeting someone and feeling so held within that space and not having to pretend to be anything other than you are and not feeling like... There are parts of yourself that you can't show. It's just all there and it's all accepted and it's all loved and it's all cared for. And this is something mutual. This is something that has a sense of equality and a sense of balance. It feels like a true, true sense of happiness because of feeling seen. 
it really feels like beyond anything else, this is just somebody that that gets you to your core and that loves you. It's like the more they the more this person sees of you, the more that they love you, the more they connect with you. So it's that that trust in knowing there's nothing that you could show to this person that would have them turn away. It feels like a very, very profound connection that you have with this person. This seems very rare, very unique. It looks like one of those situations where you meet with someone in a way where it almost feels surreal the way that you connect with this person. Almost like there's a part of yourself that you see within them and vice versa. Maybe sometimes too when you're with this person it kind of feels like you're with another version of yourself in a way. I'm kind of picking up on that. This feels very synchronistic, the relationship you have with this person. It feels very twin-like to me. Like a soulmate type of vibe. It feels like at face value, this is what it feels like. But I want to see what else is going on here. Major attraction with this person. Feeling like this is a faded connection. When you first met them, this is somebody that would have came across like they have things in order. There's a sense of stability. There's a sense of like feeling trusting of this person pretty much immediately. You feel like they're very straightforward and transparent with you. And then after initially coming together with them, you could have met them at um, some, some event or around the time of some significant event. Some type of celebration even. Or through some, some sort of association that you have with someone or a group of people even. You could have even met them through um, networking somehow. What other reading did this come through in? Maybe the Leo reading? It was either Leo or Aquarius. I'm curious to see where this is going to go specifically. So things get serious and it turns into some sort of commitment. Seems like the more you get to know this person, the more drawn you feel towards them. Like. It's, I'm seeing initially when you meet them, like, you would find this person attractive, like, there's absolutely a draw, but it seems like the more energy you exchange with them, the more magnetizing even that this person becomes to you. And there's a sense of deep, deep familiarity that you share with this individual that is shared between the two of you, a deep sense of attraction as well. And as I said before, this feels very much like a faded event that comes together, Scorpio. The magnetism is interesting to me. Because sometimes when we come into contact with someone, it's like you're attracted to what you may initially see or what's presented to you and then sometimes as we get to know someone like other things come up you know and reality hits and then we like adjust to an imperfect situation because nothing is like exactly as we want it to be there's a sense of like adjusting and adapting and getting to know someone further and understanding someone's quirks and stuff however what I'm seeing here is like 
the more the closer that you get with this person it's like the more perfect things are which is very very interesting to see it happen in that way because it's like the commitment happens or the relationship happens or there's some sort of statement that's made where it's like I want to be with you do you want to be with me I want like I'm committed to this is this something that you would be serious with like there's some sort of like mutual um admitting of wanting to be together and of this being a real thing this becomes concrete in that way and then there's a sense of feeling even closer with that person through that so definitely an emphasis on this the more time you spend with them the more you get along with them the more attracted you are to them the more you feel like you know them but not in a sense where it's like oh you know my favorite color is black and i know yours is blue there's a sense of re-familiarizing yourself with something that you may have had distance from before you came into contact with this person in this lifetime this is the vibe yeah what i'm seeing here this is so interesting usually the way that a relationship unfolds it's like attraction like sexual attraction things like that um there's a sense of recognition there's a sense of peaked interest um there's a sense of being like oh i really see you i feel seen by you and then the relationship happens or the commitment happens but the way that i'm seeing this it's almost like a reversal it's like it becomes a commitment first more so and then there's a sense of deeper understanding of this person attraction feeling like you've been brought together with them and then i'm seeing the knight of wands which it doesn't necessarily this seems like a good thing the way that the knight of wands comes up because this feels like a very passionate energy but it feels like one that is committed but very very passionate within the relationship like this seems like a really intense sexual interaction or chemistry that you have with this person Funnily enough, I am seeing the Knight of Wands be committed in this scenario. I'm seeing this may even be something that draws you in towards this person. This would be someone extremely charming. In like all of the things that they do because they're being authentic to themselves with the sun at the top. This is someone that it's just like they are so themselves and so expressive of that and unapologetic that there's a sense of just being so drawn towards this person and feeling automatically trusting because it's impossible for them, it seems like, for them to be anything other than what they are. And so there's a sense of just feeling safe within that space with them. Whatever it is that they do within their life, I'm seeing that they're also very passionate about this as well. Like, maybe you feel like everything they do, they're passionate about. Like, they they carry that essence within them. And it's something kind of infused in, like, their da daily lives or daily life or their activities that they do. Maybe something also that you feel touched by. Because Scorpio is also very, very passionate and wanting that sense of intensity. I'm seeing that present here within the connection. You may even have some like playful banter with this person too. I'm kind of seeing a sense of like even play fighting with this person. I'm not seeing it be anything serious. It's like, you may just both be very passionate and get into disagreement sometimes, but I'm seeing it actually ends up bringing you closer. It's not, it's like, rather than something that causes tension in a way where it separates you guys, it actually makes the bond stronger between the two of you. This is so beautiful. Like, this feels very gripping, the energy here. It's like, I'm seeing you guys on this mission. It's like, you win together. 
the way that this is. It feels very much too like there could be some type of adversity even that you've come up against. Maybe on your individual paths and something that you've been able to work through independently and it seems like this person has as well. And now I'm also seeing you guys team up and it's like because of the ways that you've had to like learn how to maneuver and advocate for yourself and get things done you guys are a very very strong team and you also know how to work with one another even when you do have disagreements and things like that like even when you do butt heads and I'm seeing it be like a very healthy interaction that you guys have because it is healthy to have conversations where like maybe somebody doesn't agree with the other person but there's a sense of working through that rather than having it separate you from that person it makes your relationship stronger because you're each living in your own truth and you're accepting of one another and i'm seeing this bring like even a more fulfilled sense of happiness between the two of you this would seem striking like even to an onlooker this is something that would be looked in upon and like this would be perceived as a very powerful connection that the two of you have. Yeah, you guys know how to work together. You know how to collaborate. Even when things are difficult. This is someone also that would be very supportive of you when you're going through something tough and vice versa. This isn't somebody that's going to bail. This is somebody that is reliably going to show up for you and be there. Someone that is committed to you in that way. I feel like you guys definitely share values like... I'm not seeing the strength card, but loyalty keeps repeating. I'm seeing like loyalty be very, very important within the connection that you have with this person. Ooh. Yeah, this is this is a wish fulfillment. I feel like this would be the ideal connection with this person. I'm definitely getting the type of vibe like vibe like this person kind of stands out from the crowd they may be a leader among their friends or their peers this is somebody well respected somebody very intelligent i'm also getting creative business savvy there's a sense of expansion when it comes to their career with Jupiter here, this can speak on like higher education, um, business expansion in general, something even like a wide breadth of knowledge that they have. You guys may even like in your public lives, because I'm kind of seeing the King of Pentacles and the King of Wands be like public personas a bit in this. The ways that you guys are perceived in public, it may be kind of different from one another. However, I'm seeing that it's like a power couple working together, like when you guys work together. So it's like even though you may have... um. I'm hearing different routines, maybe of what's familiar to you or like habits and stuff when it comes to how you get jobs done and things like that. There's a sense of this being like the perfect mix when it works together. I'm seeing it work very well independently and additionally work very well together when you work with this person. If you were to collaborate with them, whether this be professional or just in your personal life. Maybe you were also looking for somebody as well that would challenge you and this is that person. I'm seeing a connection where it's like pushing each other to be better. There's a sense of growth here. So romantic, Scorpio. Big 
things may get more serious down the line. I'm looking at something having to do... I'm looking at justice here. It kind of feels like something that would expand maybe even to into a contract of some sort. This can be something like... I'm getting marriage for some of you that it would lead that way. Maybe if... The, this could have been something that you weren't particularly expecting but it kind of i'm hearing five year plan okay thanks guys you may have thrown certain things out the window and been like i'd be fine in my life without having that but if it comes around like maybe that's something that i'd like to do i'm seeing it kind of touch those bases of things that you may have given up at a certain point in time or maybe just like surrendered to the universe and been like it's okay if this doesn't come through I'm just gonna go with things how it goes and then something something comes about and it ends up checking off all of those boxes for ideally what you would want within a connection with someone I'm seeing super strong attraction. In the beginning, I'm seeing a lot of patience and adapting and waiting and feeling things out. Although there's a sense of knowing that a lot is there because with the temperance card, what is being tempered is a type of intensity. So there's already, I'm hearing smoldering. There's there's already something there that you know needs to be tempered or controlled even and I'm seeing that because this is being done and it feels like all of the right steps are being taken as everything unfolds with this connection because of doing things in a way where there's no like rushing or pressure or like we're gonna lose everything if we don't do it right now there's a sense of like ease and intensity in a way where it is solidifying a type of bond that you have with someone this is somebody that you would be like there's no doubt in my mind that i'm going to be with you for the rest of my life this is the type of vibe like, this is romantic, but it's not romantic in a gaudy way. This is, like, so genuinely authentic and deep and passionate and committed and loyal. Something you can trust, something you can put your faith in. The connection in this person... They feel steady to you. The connection does. Even when things in the environment, there, even when there can be chaos and things like that in the environment, this is somebody that you can depend on to be a rock. And I'm not just seeing it be like, yeah, one person's uber masculine and the other person is super feminine. No, there's like this, this sense of strength that both of these characters have within this storyline. And there's a, a sense of like finding solace in that because you know that you can rely on that person if you want to and this person can rely on you in that same way so there's a sense of that being mirrored like very well and i'm i'm seeing such a blend of masculine and feminine energy so this is also somebody that's done work when it comes to like social norms and social biases and what's expected and social roles and all of that stuff this is somebody very much in their authentic light and somebody that you also happen to be extremely compatible with. And even though any relationship is going to take work, there is a clear sense of ease and like faded destiny that is mixed in with your connection with this person. It's very blatant, like something undeniable. There's also a sense of both parties surrendering to this connection as well. There, I don't see any sense of resistance here. I don't see any sense of unhealthy ego, anything like that, like anything out of balance. I'm not seeing any of that. I'm seeing a lot of like committed to working together and that almost being an unsaid thing. I'm seeing it just be something that you trust because you know it within you. I'm looking at Sagittarius, I'm looking at the Sun, I'm looking at Jupiter, 
Libra. You guys may have the opportunity to start something new together. Like you may have something that you want to collaborate on or work on with this person that may come like a little bit later because I'm seeing at the forefront. It's like I'm seeing you very, very into like your personal life and what it is that you're doing. And this person has their own mission as well. And so when you come together with this person, uh, there's a sense of it being like focused on you working around the relationship with them. Like I'm seeing that be prioritized for both of you guys and then later on there's a sense of you possibly collaborating on something together i'm getting that both of you guys are creative individuals as well there's a sense of you guys both being being connected like either in the public eye or you work with people maybe service oriented i'm seeing like both of you guys are like you're the head of something or you lead lead something and I mean, that can be taken in so many different ways, but I'm seeing you guys both be in charge of something, something that is yours, but each of you guys do this. Like maybe you guys are both creators. I'm also hearing entrepreneur. I'm seeing the basis of this relationship be first and foremost about your relationship but then you may expand to actually working together possibly even in a financial setting this also could be i'm hearing lucrative this also could be something that you're doing for pleasure as well it's like you may well clearly you're going to have activities that you like to do together um but yeah maybe you want to work on something together This is so exciting, Scorpio. I don't even want to call this a love reading, even though it kind of is about that. But this is definitely like my favorite interpersonal reading that I've done so far for the channel. We may stop here. I'm just going to see if anything else pops out that is to note. Both of you guys, I'm I'm seeing that if you do collaborate, you could work on something that would both further your careers if you were to work together and collaborate. I'm also seeing too that um, each of you may have had your own battle with anything involving the devil. So this would be, you could have gone through something with substances. This can be food it can be drugs it can be codependency like anything that's like overindulging underindulging things like that anything that would have been out of balance for some of you it was health related so it's like any type of which all of us have it's like any type of struggle that you've been through that was something that needed to be worked through i'm seeing that like both of you guys have worked through like something really intense also also there's a sense of of this even having the effect of like building your character in some way like I'm seeing the devil be important for each of you because it may have actually like put you on your path that led you guys to meeting each other in the first place or like why you have so much in common now. So I'm not seeing this as a weakness. I'm seeing this as as something that has been like worked on there's a sense of awareness of this and it's something that actually has like strengthened the bond and there's a sense of mu mutual understanding about that and this feels like too if and all of us at different times have different things that come up that we struggle with or that we need to be aware of or that we're working with there's never really a time where you're like oh everything's fine and i'm never gonna have another issue again or i'm never gonna have to work through anything again 
what I'm seeing here is that when when topics like this come up, I'm seeing that you guys can both work together and you may actually have an effect on one another that makes it easier for you to like fight your battles, so to speak. So it's like you may have certain like predispositions towards certain things and this person may also and I'm seeing that it's like mutually beneficial the way your relationship works and that it feels empowering so you can ultimately gain control over the things in your life that you need to gain control of, especially when you're struggling. I'm see this I'm seeing this person just as you will for them or you do for them there's a sense of like working with each other through like the most difficult things to work through this is like total ride or die energy yeah for some of you i'm seeing this has to do with um i'm seeing neptune Neptune has to do with, it can, with, like, addiction and overindulgence and whatnot, and also, like, not wanting to be present, like, things that would be numbing agents, it can be impulsive, risky behavior even, deception, lies, things like that. But as I said before, things that have been worked on, like, I'm not, I'm seeing this be a point of vulnerability and within that there's a sense of strength because of how you both handle each other with the care that you do again i am hearing the word loyal loyalty i'm getting that this is very very important like a backbone to the relationship Okay, Scorpio, we are going to leave the reading here. I would like to thank everybody for joining. Thank you for tuning in. I'm wishing everybody love and light and healing, and I hope to catch you guys next time.